Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to share about not MCU ESP8266 with the Bling app. So, let's know about the not MCU. Not MCU means it's a not and MCU. That's mean the microcontroller unit. So, not MCU is a low-cost uh, open-source IoT platform that run on ESP8266 Wi-Fi from uh, Express system. If if you can see here, this is the pin that involved in the not MCU. Uh, what about the Bling? Bling is an uh, IoT platform with a mobile apps, and then it contains the fiber cloud, device management, data analytics, and it also can support the machine uh, learning. And what do you need uh, for the Bling? So you just need a smartphone and where you will have the uh, Bling app and then you also need the IoT hardware so you can use any one uh, for example uh, we call it uh, uh, ESP8266 okay or not MCU, Arduino, Raspberry Pi and so on and of course um, you need the internet connection okay so the process how the link app uh, in your mobile phone is sent to the uh, IoT device is uh, show like this. So in your mobile phone you have the Blink app and then it is sent to your IoT device here through the Blink server. Okay. So there will be a two-way communication. So that's mean from the Bling uh, apps, right, inside your phone. So you can send uh, through the Bling server to control the uh, output, right, or, or maybe the actuator of your IoT device. And also if you have any input from the IoT device, so you can send back to your mobile phone, right, as an indicator, right, or notification. Uh, the first step is you need to download the Blink app, right, in your mobile phone. And then after that, uh, you need to install the Blink library inside the Arduino IDE. And then you create a project on a Blink app. And then after that, we need to uh, add a widget box. We call it widget box in our Blink project. And then uh, we construct the circuit and then we program our not MCU. Uh, let's say we, we do some basic thing, um, basic program just to test, which is the button to on off the LED on the not MCU. And then we can run the not MCU and then Blink app to see whether our system is working or not. Step one, download the Blink app in mobile phone. All right. So uh, the Blink app, you can uh, find it from the Google Store, right, for the Android or the App Store uh, for the iOS. So what you need to do is just type the word Blink, right, and then you just click install. And after that, uh, you need to uh, register uh, the email, right, uh, and then all the uh, Authorization token will be sent to your uh, register email. Okay. Step two, you need to install the Blink library in the Arduino IDE. Uh, the first step is you need to open the Arduino IDE and then you need to go to the tools and manage libraries and then after that you need to type the Blink, right? And then you need to uh, uh, install this one, right? So you can choose the latter version. Okay, this is your Arduino IDE. You go to Tools and Manage Library. Okay. In this tab, you need to Write the Blink. Right. So 
in in my case i already installed the blink library so this is the latest version right then there are one button install so you just click install step three create project on the blink app all right after you have installed the blink app on your mobile phone so let's create a project okay uh, in the blink app there are uh, tab name new project so you just click this one new project then after that you name uh, the project for example button on or uh, off led and then you select the device esp8266 and the uh, uh, connection type which is the wi-fi and then after that you click create here and then uh, uh, an authorization token will be sent through your email okay this is the example of the authorization token right so this uh, value you need to copy and put it into the uh, uh, Arduino program Step 4. Create a widget box in Blink project. In this step 4, we're going to do on the basic uh, circuit which contain the node MCU and LED uh, where the LED is connected to pin D7 here. Okay. And then uh, we also going to control the built-in LED which is connected to the pin D0 here. Alright, for the Blink app, it will use the pin that name at the outside, uh, not MCU, like this one. Uh, yep, this pin, like GPIO 10, uh, 9, 8 and so on. For example, the uh, uh, D0 is referred to GPIO 16 and D7 is uh, referred to the GPIO 13. Okay, so the Blink app will use uh, this uh, name right outside the uh, to you. Okay, uh, okay, all right. So this is the basic circuit, and then after that we create uh, the uh, widget, right? There are two uh, widget, which is the button one and button two. So button one, uh, they're connected to GP uh, IO sixteen, right? GP sixteen, and then if we control the built-in LED, and then the GP IO thirteen, we control the uh, LED. Uh, at the D7. Okay, after that, so you can uh, play around with this uh, few button. For example, this one you can uh, change the setting, right? For example, if you want to resend a new address uh, session token to your email, or maybe you want to change the name or device and so on. And if you want to add the uh, uh, we get to the face so you can uh, press this button plus okay when you press uh, this button you will see that uh, there will be the energy balance here right it shows that by default um, uh, a new user will get um, 1500 energy free of charge so uh, we need to choose our we uh, widget uh, wisely right so that it, it doesn't consume a lot of uh, energy okay so let's choose um, a button right here and also the second one is style button here okay so you just can tap this one then, con then it, it will bring out uh, into the uh, blink app page 
all right uh, after that uh, you can click uh, this button uh, I think you just can tap this button okay and then you can change the name right so let's say we put a button one and then you also can select the pin all right there are three pins right, uh, display in the blink app which is digital analog and virtual digital that means it will refer to the uh, hardware pin right here like GPIO 16, 5, 4 and so on okay analog that means it will uh, uh, display on the uh, analog pin here like uh, for example this one the new MCU only have the one analog pin A0 and the virtual pin this means that the pin that is not the hardware pin is like a, what we call it a virtual pin right so it is used like if you want to send the data to the node MCU or from the node MCU send back to the Blink app okay so for in this case for button one so let's choose uh, the pin digital and GP uh, 16 all right we control directly to uh, this pin all right and then for the button two so you can uh, press the tab again and then you choose the uh, digital pin right gp13 right that means it will control directly to uh, gpio13 or d7 and you can see here our uh, circuit right the led is connected to the d7 and also the built-in connected to the d0 right Step 5. Construct circuit and program the node MCU. Alright, so let's construct this circuit. Okay, for this uh, coding, as you can see here, uh, this one is the basic coding, right? In order to um, uh, communicate between the Node MCU and the Blink app, right? If if you can see here, this is the authorization token, right? Uh, so whenever you create a new project of the Blink app, so you will get the authorization token that you can get it from your email. And then uh, you also need to change the SSID, right? So that means uh, your uh, network, right? Uh, and then the password, all right, of the SSID, okay? And then uh, for the setup, so we just call the serial dot begin in order to use the uh, serial monitor of the Arduino IDE. And then uh, we need to uh, set up the initial one, uh, the Blink server. This one, we call it the Blink server. And then inside the loops, so uh, we just call Blink.run. After we done, write the coding, so we can go to tools, right? board manager, uh, tools, sorry, go to board, and then you choose the board, 
and then ESP8266 and then the node MCU 1.0 okay and then after that you choose the COM port where your node MCU is connected and then you press the upload button right and then after that you will uh, press the serial monitor to uh, to uh, uh, pop up the uh, serial uh, monitor screen okay and then if uh, the uh, connection between the blink app and your iot device is uh, uh, successful so you will see this uh, message right okay and then we can uh, run our blink app by press this button and then you can play around with uh, by pressing this button one or button two when you press the button one that's mean uh, and you press and hold that's mean uh, the led one which is the built-in led will turn on Okay, and if you release, so LED one will uh, turn off. And the same thing with the button two. Okay, so you can press this button two. It will turn on the uh, LED at the seven, and then when you press again, it will turn off the LED at the seven. Okay. After you have write this program, okay, you go to tools, and then you go to the board. Not MCU ESP A two six C and then choose the not MCU one point zero. After that, you go to the port and then you just choose the COM port, right? So this one you can check from the uh, device manager where your not MCU is connected to. Then after that, just press upload button. Okay, done uploading. So just press the serial monitor. Okay. So you want to see this message. So on the not MCU, there are a reset button you can press. Okay. And then it will display this message. That means uh, the Blink app and your not MCU is uh, connected successfully. Now you can press the button one. You will see the LED view in is turned on. And when you press the button 2, you will see the uh, LED D7 is turned on. Alright, thank you. We'll see you again on the next video.